Hey everybody, it's Angie from Trips with Angie. Welcome to the Seaborn Odyssey. We started our Caribbean sailing in Barbados. It's a little bit different than a typical boarding experience for me since it's an open air port. We sat here under the tent and took our nasal swab antigen test. Then they had a nice little waiting area while you waited the 15 minutes to get the results. Once you got the results, you got a little green sticker on your boarding pass and you headed inside. You had to stop for a temperature check as well as to hand sanitize. Then you boarded a bus to take you to the ship. We were really excited to get on board. This was our first seaborne sailing. When you boarded, you went through the restaurant, and in the main restaurant, they did your mustard drill. So it just all got handled right upon embarkation. And the restaurant is absolutely beautiful. It's open each day evening for dinner. It has incredible menus. My favorite bite I had here was the scallop from the chef's dinner menu. Don't miss the chef's dinner. Heading up to deck five, you'll find the club and the teeny tiny casino. As you can see, it has three gaming tables as well as several slot machines. It's open while the ship's at sea. Then here is the club, a great pre and post dinner hangout location with terrific bartenders and a chef that makes these delicious bites before dinner. Absolutely gourmet, amazing bites. So don't miss those. And then there's usually live music in here. There was a great trio that really got people out onto this dance floor, played all of your favorites um, throughout the ship, but really hung out in the club. Then if you head outdoors at the aft of the ship, you'll find this great outdoor deck area with lots of seating options, as well as two whirlpools and a pool. This was a fantastic spot to watch sail away every day as we left all these terrific Caribbean islands. It's very quiet during the day and it has a nice little cooler with sodas and and water so you don't have to get parched. Heading up to deck six, we'll find the Grand Salon. This is where the evening shows take place. So they had a number of guest performers on board, a violinist, a pianist. They put on absolutely terrific shows as well as their production cast. My favorite show the production cast did was An Evening with Tim Rice. The singers were absolutely incredible. Now, a little secret spot, if you head all the way to the front or forward of deck six, you'll find this little door that says emergency exit whirlpool. And there is a whirlpool on the front of deck Six. Can you imagine being here as you sailed into the islands or Alaska? Absolutely great location. Heading up to deck seven, you'll find guest services as well as the coffee shop. We had the best Americanos of my life here. I mean, really, they were so good. And then if you keep going back to the after the ship, there's some more outdoor seating. So we would get our coffees and then head out here in the morning and just take a look around because we had just pulled in to a new Caribbean island. Also on deck seven are some of the shops, just a couple shops in case you needed some souvenirs, if you had left something behind, very high-end luxury options. On deck seven, you'll also find the card room. This is a really lovely room, and in fact, it has board games that you can take out and borrow, and it also has televisions. So we were there during the NFL playoffs, and a few guests had just gotten together and asked the staff um, to make a little like hot dog buffet for them, and they watched the playoffs here in the card room. So I think that's so much fun. Our cabin, 746, was on deck seven. This is a quirky little veranda cabin. It's designed to be the second bedroom for the winter garden, so it does not look like a regular veranda cabin on Seaborn. It has a walk-in closet. There's that connecting door to the winter garden, but it has a lot of the features of a standard Seaborn veranda. So you can see it has the king size bed with USBs and lights on either side as well as nightstands, a small vanity where the blow dryer is. Then you have the second living room area with an in-room bar. The curtain comes across. We had the two chairs and table. This is great setup for the in-suite dining Seaborn offers. A TV there on a swivel so you could watch it from the bed or from the couch. You glimpse that Jim Beam bottle. That's right. You can set up in advance what bottles of liquor you'd like in your room. And the bathroom is large. You have your own bathroom bathtub. The staff set up this little romantic bath for me. You also have a large shower with an overhead shower head as well as handheld. And then a little cabinet that houses your glasses as well as your cotton swabs and your Q-tips. And then this teeny tiny balcony. Again, this is not the standard balcony 
on Seaborn. Heading up, we find the Colonnade. So this is your option for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Breakfast and lunch, they have a great buffet as well as a few items you can order off the menu. You can see here they, ha they had different themes every day. So they had French theme, they had uh, Caribbean theme. So lots of great fresh food. We really enjoyed eating there. Uh, lots of seating inside and out. There's outside deck seating as well. Here is the grill by Thomas Keller. You can make one reservation during your cruise but then if there's additional availability the crew will try to fit you in it's a traditional steakhouse it's Thomas Keller's take on a traditional steakhouse and then you can head out to the main deck pool area so it's a large pool with two whirlpools on either side if you're feeling fancy you can get a glass of champagne and caviar delivered to your pool chair or basically anywhere on board but lots of pool chairs great service there's bar staff walking around you know whatever you need a couple times they gave us cold towels a little Evian spritz so great service here at the pool there also there were some deck party evenings uh, this is the patio do not miss dinner here we had some terrific dinners here it's a more limited menu uh, but absolutely delicious you're dining under the stars definitely fitted in and then of course you have your typical patio pool bar that's open throughout the day into the evening and then there's also one above so you basically have two pool bars one down on the deck with the pool and then one on the upper deck there so heading up we can see there's more tables and chairs here this was a very popular area for card players if they wanted to be outside because it's a little sheltered going up one more I call these the nap beds so you overlook the pool you have a wonderful view and then if you head towards the front of the ship you're going to find the game area so you have two shuffle boards you have the golf driving simulator I don't know the right word for that can you tell me in the comments you know if you hit the ball into the net as a putting green as well as some really lovely chairs and loungers um, that face out and see where you're sailing next which in the Caribbean is always a terrific view also we have the observation lounge so this is a great location in the evening we had a live piano player during our cruise so he played your sing-along favorites again this was a favorite for some people pre-dinner uh, they would come up here get an order of caviar have a cocktail and then head to dinner and then come back up after dinner to enjoy that piano player it does have an afternoon tea daily which was really just a delight I don't know about you but I really like tiny food especially this teeny tiny smoked salmon bagel um, I thought it was delicious. There's also a spa on board if you're interested in those kind of services. They, this is their thermal suite area. It is an extra charge unless you book one of the suites. That includes access. It has the heated loungers, an outdoor deck area, as well as a steam room and a sauna. They, the locker rooms also have steam rooms and saunas. So there are, you know, men only and women only steam rooms and saunas. There is, this is called the studio. This is where they held some stretching classes, some different um, fitness classes. This is the beauty salon. So you can have your hair done, nails, and then the regular fitness center. It was a well-equipped fitness center for the size of the ships. Now, if you are on an itinerary that goes to Carambara, Sorry, Carambola Beach in St. Kitts. Do not miss the signature Caviar in the Sea event. It is a hoot. So that boat coming in is the cruise director bringing in a huge tin of caviar. They're going to put it on the paddleboard and you swim out. The bar manager was bringing us glasses of champagne into the water. They do also have it set up on the beach for those of you who don't want to swim for your caviar. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks.